use of uh, God and his excellency in the political government by a state. I am the Honorable Commissioner for Information, Orientation and Strategy. I've been here for a couple of months now. I was sworn in on the 25th of August last year. And uh, by his grace, we've been doing the job of information management since this moment. Right, so what should uh, my assessment be? Is that uh, information management is not about lying, and that we will try as much as possible to be truthful in what we give out to the public. And uh, till this moment, I think that's what I'm doing. Uh, when I say I, it's not just myself that is doing the job, there are a whole lot of persons who are doing the job. Collaboration with even journalists in the private sector. Uh, we've been dealing with newspaper houses, radio stations, television houses, and then within the ministry, we have a group of uh, talented people who are information officers, and even in the ministry, who are walking around the block on a daily basis to make sure that by chance, know what government is doing, and not just what government. Knowledge we have should be that that is precise and exact uh, without any coloration. That's what we've been so far. Um, as regards uh, freelance journalism, as we call it, or social media journalism, as some people do, which are the soft activities that can be so students just get information that are not verified and start to act upon it. What's your role in that? Well, within the last year, few years, you know, it's, it's a global thing. In the last few years, uh, when platforms like uh, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, and all kinds of social media platforms came in all around the world, uh, you will understand that the immediacy of news, particularly when the CNNs came on board to a 24 hour news came, even then you know, it used to slow it down. By the time you get something, it will be some, uh, some hours late. <coughs> But today, uh, because of the background I have, sometimes I don't even see social media as news. Uh, because the, the bulk of what people do, which is uh, sad for me, is that somebody will stay in his bedroom uh, without confirming, will just hear something and will just post. At the end of the day, uh, most times we see news that is not well filtered. In, uh, it's causing a lot of dislocation, even in governments, in, because of the immediacy of what they are doing. And uh, journalism is not something that is not an all commerce game, whether we like it or not. There's some form of training. Even if you are not trained in proper, educated by going to school, even mass commerce. If you join the profession, there are skills that are learned. You know, even if you don't go to a school of journalism, you never get because of the natural flair you have for writing and news gathering. Uh, by the time you go in, there is some form of training, particularly in the original orthodox media houses. So it's, it's, it's not something you just jump into, even if you jump into it, there is some form of training. But today, People who have no repertorial knowledge, don't even know how to report, don't even know how to write news, will come in and just type. That's why most times when you see reports in social media, either the spellings are faulty, grammar is disjointed, and then even the thought process is questionable. You know, so, but it's something that We've come to stay with. We can't change it. Can't change it. My advice to the practitioners is just for them to be a little bit more circumspect when they when they get information for you to throw. Because it will lead you into trouble. It will lead you into trouble. You know, the 
because the mere fact that you have some enemies in your phone, because every phone is not a smartphone, it's not a guarantee, particularly for the young ones, it's not a guarantee for those to write anything that you write, anything that gets into your head to write. So I can only advise, but I because it's something we cannot stop. It has its own good sides. The immediacy of news is there. People need to know what is happening. But in telling people what they need to know, you need to, uh, you know, advance, disseminate wrong information. The answer is no. The answer is no. Sorry to interrupt, sir. We have this current issue of uh, school fees from the uh, NDU, where students are currently. Uh, agitated about the, the current school fees. Uh, as the Commissioner for Information, of course, I know you already have some of these issues at your table. What do you have to say, sir? Well, if, if I am to speak personally, as, as not as Commissioner for Information, but as Aiba uh, people might not like my view about it. But there is nowhere that education is not expensive. That is the truth of the matter. That is the truth of the matter. The, the school, what the government has done is to allow the school to run its own affairs. Is it not so? So, if the school deem it necessary to tweak certain things, to make the smooth running of the school, so be it. But that does not mean that government will not come in when it is excessive because uh, at the end of the day, uh, the school is owned by government. You know? So, 